All right, today we are going to practice reading clocks. And this can be a lot of fun. It's great when I have a clock in front of me that I'm able to write on or mark. That makes practicing a lot easier. So we have an analog clock here. And we want to know what time the clock shows. And it says answer using digits and a colon. For example, 10 colon 46. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is find our hour. Now, our hour is between the two and the three, okay? Now, you might say it's three, but here's the thing. Look at your minute hand as a hint. The minute hand is really close to the next hour. And look at the hour hand. It's not quite there. So unless that hand, that minute hand is past the 12, that means that hour is actually two. It is two something. Okay, now I love counting by fives. So minute hands are fun to count with. You start here and we're going to count by fives on each number until we get to where the hand is. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Our minute hand is pointing to 55. So that means the time is 2.55. Let's try another one. All right, our hour, again, super close to the five. But is it at five o'clock yet? Look at my minute hand. My minute hand is almost there, but not quite. So that tells me my hour is what? Four or five? Four. It's late in the four o'clock hour, but it's not quite to five yet. All right, for a minute hand, let's count by fives until we get to our minute hand. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So the time is 4.55. Good job. Next, all right, let's look at our hour hand. Our hour hand is between the four and the five. Our hour hand is between the four and the five. So that means it's four. It's not like where the minute hand was really close. And let's look at our minutes. Yeah, start here, count by five. Five, ten. So what is our time? 4.10, good job. Next, let's look at this clock. All right, let's mark off. I like to circle where my hour hand is. It's between the five and the six. So if it's between two numbers, you always go back to the lower number for the hour. So my hour is what? Five. Okay, now, minute, count by fives. Five, right. Now, I can't say five, five. That's not right. And I can't put it like this either. Because if I put this, that's saying 550. So it can't be that. And it can't be that. What do I need to do to hold that tens place, if you will? We put a zero, right? So five, zero, five, five, oh, five. There we go. Next, what time is on this clock? 
Okay. First thing I'm marking, my hour hand. It's between the one and the two. And what do we say? The hour goes back. It's between the hour goes back to the lower number. So our hour is one. And now we're going to count by fives on our minutes until we get to where the minute hand is pointing, which is right here. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Nice job. So what time is shown on that clock? 1.30. Next, what time is shown on this clock? Okay, let's mark our clock to make our hour stick out. Okay, my hour hand is between one and 12. So which is the lower hour, not number, hour, 12, because it's 12 o'clock before one o'clock. Okay, now, what do we do to find out our minutes? We count by fives. Good job. Let's count. Five, ten. Count with me. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. So that means our time on the clock is twelve forty-five. Good work. Next problem. Okay, what time is shown here? I'm going to circle my hour. What is my hour? 12, right? We always go back to the number before. And what's my minute? It goes here. Count by fives. What'd you get for the minutes? 10, right? So our time on this clock is 12, 10. Let's try another one. What time is on this clock? What do I circle first? Right. That helps me not be distracted by the other numbers and things around me. So what is my hour? 10 or 11? 10. Good job, it always goes back. Okay, let's count by fives until we get to this minute spot. I mark, you count out loud. What'd you get? 25, nice job. So what's our time? 10, 25. Next, what time is shown here? Okay, let's look at that hour hand. Oh my gosh, it's really close to the four. But use that minute hand as a, as a hint. We're almost to that next hour. So is it three or four? It's three, we're not to four yet. All right, count those minutes by five until we get to where we are. I will mark and you count. What did you get? 50, so it's three. 50. Nice work. Let's do one more. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at our hour hand. It's pointing at the five, right? Oh, check. The minute hand is pointing right up at the 12. So if it's pointing up at the 12, that means my minute must be zero, that o'clock. What's my hour hand pointing at? Five. So that means this clock shows five o'clock. Great job working with time.